Just like any other day, I finished working overtime and was on my way home when a woman who clearly didn't seem well started walking towards me. I could see that her steps were unstable. Uh, are you okay? Who are you? What? Aren't you? It could be the wrong person. However, I knew I had seen that face before. You're that idol, Kaguya, aren't you? Yeah, I am, but... I was right. This girl started as an underground idol, but she flew up the industry at a crazy speed and became a top idol. Her name was Kaguya Ainami. But why... What is Kaguya doing in a place like this? Obviously, I'm just on my way home. Does that mean that Kaguya lives in this area? Normally speaking, I'm sure she would feel a lot more comfortable if I didn't follow her, but I'll help you until you're nearby. Uh, that's what you're saying, but you better not be trying to attack me. I would never do such a thing. But wait, she seems really different from the way she is on TV. I guess that bright bubbly personality was just a TV persona. Perhaps she believed me from my response, and I continued to walk with her in the direction that she told me, but then... Hmm. Wait, Kaguya? <sighs> Kaguya? Wait, are you okay? <sighs> oh, thank goodness. You're just asleep. Just... asleep? Wait a minute. Where am I supposed to go from here? Hey, wake up, Kaguya! I don't know where to go! Uh... Oh, are you awake? Shut up! I have been working non-stop. I'm exhausted. Just be quiet and let me sleep in peace. What? <sighs> she must have been pretty exhausted, because after she got angry, she went straight back to sleep. What am I supposed to do with her now? I was at a loss for what to do, but it wasn't normal to be walking around with a girl asleep on me in a place like this. Of course, I couldn't get a taxi either. That's why I... I can't believe I've done it. I ended up bringing a top idol into my own home. Uh, if I remember correctly, she said on TV that she turned 19 the other day, right? Yeah, legally, this should be safe, I think. I tried to calm down, but when I realized the gravity of what I had done, I wasn't able to get any sleep that night. The next morning... <sighs> I slept so well. I can't remember the last time I slept this much. Wait a minute. When did I fall asleep yesterday? Wait, uh, uh, where am I? Good morning, Kaguya. Huh? What? Who are you? What are you even doing here? If someone was speaking to her as soon as she woke up, of course she would be shocked. I thought about waiting in the living room until she woke up. But because she would be waking up in an unknown room, I didn't want her to panic. So I sat next to the bed and waited, so that I could explain to her. Thank goodness today was a weekend. Just so that you don't misunderstand anything, I haven't done anything to you. I just happened to meet you yesterday, and I was trying to walk you home, but then you fell asleep, and I didn't have a choice, so I brought you to my place. But why should you be walking me home when I've never seen you or know who you are? She was exactly right. However, that wasn't something that she could say after falling asleep on the shoulder of somebody she's never seen or knows. You were really swaying from side to side, and you seemed pretty exhausted. So I was worried about you, and decided to help you get home. You're such a people pleaser. That, or maybe you did try to go after me? You tried to turn into a wolf in sheep's clothing? No, that's not what it is! I swear to God! Interesting. Well, if you really didn't lay a hand on me, even though I was right there in front of you, I do think that's amazing. But also, I guess I should. Thank you. Uh, 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 what time is it right now? What? It's past noon already. Uh? You were very deep in sleep, so, uh... I can't even imagine how tired she must have been. This is bad, this is bad. What do I do? What do I do? I totally missed this job. Oh, she's a top idol. 
Of course, it's a given that her schedule would be packed, even on the weekend. I should have been more mindful of that. <coughs> you don't need to cry. It's going to be fine. If you explain the situation properly, I'm sure your manager will forgive you. There's no way, because I have a crazy number of missed calls, and even in my messages in the app, he's super angry. From last night until this morning, I didn't hear her phone ring, so Kaguya must have turned the sound off. She looked like she was about to cry, so they must have been pretty angry. I can't do this anymore. I don't even have time to sleep, and I have to work. And despite that, I barely get paid every month. I'm doing my best. I'm working so hard. Why do I have to get yelled at? I didn't know that she wasn't making much money. Kaguya was on TV so much that there probably wasn't a day that went by that she wasn't on TV. I'd heard before that idols don't get that much money, but this was still unexpected considering how much she works. If you hate it that much, then why don't you just quit? You're still young, and even though it may be hard to get the same amount of fame that you have right now, I'm sure that you can work in a place that will pay you a proper salary. Even if she were to move right now, Kaguya's name and her appearance were known by everybody across the country. She already has a lot of fans, so even if she became a live streamer, she would probably succeed, and she could probably get a job at a regular company for their marketing, or in sales, and do well. At the very least, I think she would be able to rest a lot more than she is now. If I could quit, then I would have quit a long time ago. But I can't quit because of the contract. I have to work for about 20 more years. What kind of contract did you sign? What? All I did was sign a piece of paper. When? About four years ago. Four years ago? That would be the year that people said Kaguya made her debut as an underground idol. That made me remember that Kaguya's agency wasn't a very big one. Even now, they don't have any decent idols other than Kaguya. Could it be? Kaguya, did you ever talk to other girls in your agency? What? N not really. At the agency, there's a private room for me, so I'm usually there. What about the other people in the industry? Only when my manager is around. I've been told I'm not allowed to talk to people around me without my manager present, because they say I don't know how the world works, and it would be bad if I angered somebody important. I see. And that's how they phrased it so that Kaguya wouldn't realize. I'm gonna be honest with you. You're being tricked by your agency, Kaguya. A contract like that would normally be out of the question. What? But how can you do that? I would understand if it was going to be a contract renewal, but there should be no way that the 20-year contract should be able to be signed at once. Even for celebrities, isn't the maximum usually around 7 years? Or 10 years? I, I didn't know. Sorry, I don't know much, so... Even when I became an idol, I was getting a lot of attention, and they got me on board with the right sweet words, so I didn't really read the contract and I just signed it. But at that time, you were underage, so didn't you need a signature from your parents? I actually don't have parents. I came out of an orphanage, and the people from the orphanage said that I want to do it, then it's fine. Which must mean that just like her, they didn't really read the contract, and they just signed it. I'm sure those people from the orphanage were also fed the same sweet words to get on board. What am I supposed to do? I was tricked like that, but does that mean I have to be used by them from now on, however they want? Kaguya, about this. Would you leave it to me to figure it out? You can stay here until everything is wrapped up. But... but what are you going to do? It's simple. If they're gonna try to strap you down with the contract, then we can also fight them face to face with the law. So you don't need to cry that much. In times like this, you can rely on other adults. In truth, I had no obligation to do this much. However, there was a girl in front of me, almost 10 years younger, crying like this. In terms of age, Kaguya was an adult, but she was still in need of the help of an adult. Luckily, because I'd been working so much overtime every day, I had plenty of savings from all my years of working. Are you really sure it's okay? Of course it is. 
but can you just turn off your location services on your cell phone and keep the power off as well? If Kaguya went missing, I'm sure they would do whatever it takes to find her. After all, she was their precious money maker. If they were to come here before I could get all the preparations in place, then I would get arrested. So I should probably hurry to take all precautions and get things moving. Good thing I had some good people that I could rely on in times like this. Well then, thank you very much. Even in times like this, she's so quick to believe in the other person. I guess this is how they used her. Yeah, leave it to me. I'm gonna get going to get started. But you can eat whatever is in the fridge. What? You're, you're leaving? It seems like I should get moving as soon as possible. Seriously, you can just eat whatever you want. He really just left. What a weird person. I'm a complete stranger, and he trusts me. Is it because I'm an idol? But no, I didn't get a bad feeling from him like I do my managers. At the very least, he's getting moving for my sake. What a weird person. I'm back! Did you eat lunch already? I left to go discuss Kaguya's situation with a friend of mine. So by the time I got home, it was already past 3 p.m. Of course, there were a lot of layers to the discussion. So it was inevitable that it would take some time. Oh, welcome home. What? You're drenched in sweat? The AC is not in this room! Because I felt bad turning it on without permission. It's fine, you can turn it on. What are you gonna do if you get a heat stroke? I didn't even think that anybody would just sit around and tolerate this kind of heat. She could have just stayed in my bedroom, but it looked like she had turned off the air conditioner there as well. Anyway, here, drink water. Thank you. My goodness, is this girl just used to tolerating this all the time? It's not normal to be waiting while drenched in sweat like this. This made me realize that that's how much she was used to being forced to tolerate all kinds of situations. It wasn't even flattery. I wanted to make her life easier. Uh... It must have been because she was hungry. Kaguya looked over at me with a scary look on her face. But yeah, I don't think I did anything wrong. Uh, did you not eat anything for lunch? Because I don't know how to cook. Did I only have ingredients in the fridge? Sorry about that. It's not something to apologize for, but also you're too good of a person. Why are you catering to someone that you picked up off the street? Hmm? Am I really catering to her that much? I was just trying to interact with her so that she doesn't feel uncomfortable. Well, if she thinks that I'm catering to her, then that must mean that she's not uncomfortable. <laughs> Wait, was there something funny about that? It's just... It's the first time I've ever met someone as nice as you. And when you looked a little confused, it was funny. I see. I don't really get it. But as long as Kaguya seems like she's enjoying it, then I'm glad. From there, perhaps she let down her guard, and Kaguya started to smile more in front of me. Wow, you know how to cook! Well, I've been living alone all this time, so if I couldn't cook, I'd be in trouble. I hope you like it. I'm just happy that you even made this for me. But what about you? Sorry, they served food where I was earlier, so I already ate. Oh, I see. Well, then, thank you. Kaguya must have been really hungry, because she was eating the food that I made for her like it was really delicious. When I look at her like this, I can tell that she was a sincere girl from the core, and to think that a girl like this was being used for the sake of money, I definitely couldn't forgive that. By the way, does your TV not turn on? Oh, uh, well, you know, it's just the news on all of the channels. Oh, I see. When I said it was the news, she must have realized. Currently, every network and sub-network was all over the whereabouts of the nationally treasured top idol, Kaguya Ainami. If anything, social media was also overflowing about Kaguya. It was only a matter of time before she would be found here. You really are loved by a lot of people, Kaguya. So once everything is cleaned up, Let's make sure you can show them the healthy smile again. Uh, I really don't think it's good that you always felt my head like that. I feel like you're treating me like a child. Uh, sorry. 
I mean, I never said I didn't like it. What? What does that mean? <laughs> Why don't you get it, you idiot? Wait, Kaguya? What on earth did I do wrong? Kaguya went flying out of the living room like she was angry at me. And so, this is how I ended up with a top idol living in my house. But, uh... Uh... I wasn't exactly used to this lifestyle. So here and there, little incidents would occur. Did I forget to give you pants? Because this is a lot more comfortable. And because of the size, you can't see anyway. But it's dangerous. I know. But actually, I was sleepy and didn't realize I was dressed the way that I am at my own home. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Nothing. I, I was talking to myself. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. I knew that she was a sincere girl, but sometimes she would get angry out of nowhere, and that sometimes troubled me. However, it kind of felt like I had a little sister, and it was fun. As we were living our lives like this, one day... Excuse us. We had walked right past the reception and barged into Kaguya's agency. Kaguya, where the hell have you been? And also, who the hell are those people? Nice to meet you. I'm Kaito Fujinami. And this person is... Lawyer Fujinami. Uh, lawyer? That's right. If they were going to try to tie her down with the contract, I decided to put a lawyer who was well-versed in the law on my side. And this person was also my mother. She was so good at what she does that in the law industry, they say everybody knows her name. When I told her about Kaguya's situation, she was furious and said she would help. Of course, she was also furious with me for easily bringing her back to my place like that. <laughs> what does a lawyer like you want? I heard that Miss Kaguya is being tied down to an illegal contract, so I just came here to confirm the truth. Huh, is that all? Well then, there shouldn't be any problems. She just had some misunderstandings. Look! As he said that, the manager pulled out a signed contract. It was true that in the contract, the contract period was legal, as well as the working conditions, and Kaguya's signature and the legal guardian's signature were there. Mom, I found it! It was exactly where Kaguya said it would be. What? There was no way that my mother and I wouldn't realize that they had a fake contract on hand to show people. Kaguya had told me that she was asked to sign multiple papers when she signed the contract, so they probably had her sign both the contract as well as the illegal contract. And I can only imagine that of course we're going to find Miss Kaguya's fingerprints as well as your own's on it, isn't that right? So why don't you explain to us exactly what's going on here? From there, the manager tried to make a lot of excuses, but my mom stomped them all straight to the ground with logic and law. Not only did she know the law like the back of her hand, she was also a fast thinker. There's nobody that could get anything past her, even if they came prepared. Hmm, I finally feel free! When the conversation was over, and we left the agency, just as she said, Kaguya looked like she felt a lot better. <laughs> well, I'm happy to hear that. From now on, they're gonna be taken down by the law, so you don't need to worry. Yes, that's right. We have plenty of evidence, so I'm going to show them no mercy. All of the necessary arrangements are complete. Yeah, I'm not gonna ask what those arrangements are. Anyway, you're going to be able to quit this agency. So are you going to look for a new one after this? I'm sure there are plenty of agencies that would be happy to take you in straight away. Hmm, but for me, more than that. Oh, is there something else you wanted to do besides that? I think that would be good too. I was just thinking that I wanted to be your bride after this, maybe. <laughs> is that so? Well, that sounds lovely. What? What? What did you say? Like I said, to be your bride, Kaito. What? Oh, that sounds great. Kaito was already getting quite old, but he hasn't had a partner at all. Even you, Mom? Hey, I got your mother's approval. You're joking, right? No, I'm serious. Because I don't think that I would ever find anybody as wonderful as you, Kaito. 
Kaguya, why don't you go prepare to move? I'm sure the two of you can live in that apartment. Yes, ma'am. Why is it that before I knew it, I felt like everybody had filled in the blanks around me? And so, with my mother's blessing and push, Kaguya retired from being an idol, and she moved into my home. Right now, it seems she's earning money by live streaming online. But as soon as I get home from work, she sticks right to me. To be honest, when she said she wanted to be my bride, I was shocked. But now, I've come to love my life with her. By the way, as for what happened to the agency that made Kaguya suffer, a lot of other illegal activity was discovered. And apparently, the CEO and all of the employees got what they deserved. <laughs>